Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Riffs. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Lance. Today we're doing our $40 face-off for the month of August. Finally got my Grand Slam Car Co. box. I got this box off Etsy. I typed in $40 prescription box or mystery box or something. I don't remember what I typed in to Google and this Etsy box came up. It took a while to get here. I almost thought, uh, oh, I went and looked and then, you know, only had like one. I mean, this is like their first sale. So I don't know what's in here. Uh, hopefully it turns out really good. I mean, it could be really good. It could be really bad. And then I got $40 in hobby packs from the LCS. I went uh, kind of small this time. Just wanted to pick up some mid-tier packs. But I also got the International Tops Trading Card Days pack. It, you know, it was there on the, when I picked these packs up. So it was part of this $40. So I paid $9 for this Gypsy Queen Hobby Pack. $9 for this Tops Chrome Platinum Anniversary Pack. $12 for this Alan Ginter Chrome Pack. And then $10 for one of these uh, Silver Packs 2021 updates. So... Hopefully we find something good in here. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Etsy box last because I'm, I'm really curious to see what's in there. I uh, like that. I have no clue. And uh, we'll do the hobby packs. Uh, let's do the hobby packs first. So we'll actually save. Let's get them to this. So each of these products, this is $40 each. So that's a $40 box. That my rookie plus level Grand Slam card club is $40 and $40 in a hobby pack. So a little $40 face off. Let's see how we do what we do. Romy Gonzalez, there's a nice Jake Berger, a couple of White Sox right off the bat, Corey Kluber, Tanner Hawk, there's a Lance Lynn, another White Sox, Shane Bieber, GQ Gems, look like an emerald there, yep, Gemini emerald, Edward Alvarez, and uh, Nick Madrigal, so nothing big in there, unless I missed something, Jake Berger maybe is the best the card out of there, moving on to the pack, uh, the Platinum Anniversary. A lot of people really like this. It doesn't like we got a hit. I forget that the hits are always on the backs of these. Brian Reynolds. There's Anderson Tejada. Aaron Savali. And a Reggie Sanders. Well, that was definitely a base pack. It's a huge base set. Moving on to this Topps Chrome pack. Hopefully we get something out of here. I will definitely probably put one of those Chrome card or Mojo Silver Pack cards up there. Love those Silver Pack cards. They're the 86 design. There's a nice Luis Casir rookie. There's a Zach Wheeler uh, refractor doesn't say it on there though maybe it's not there's a Joe Adele he's playing a lot better and a Cody Bellinger I'm glad that Joe Adele starting to actually play better too especially since I got his uh, <laughs> finally got his aut or, yeah his autograph through the mail and then let's 2021 update silver pack so not much out of these packs there's a Mark McGuire that's a cool looking shot Jonah Hine, Ernie Banks, another nice one. Ooh, and there's a nice parallel. Ah, Jeff Bagwell, that's a sweet looking card too. Numbered out of 199. Put that up here. Really like those 86 designs. And here we go, the International Top Straight Creating Card. And there's some good autographs you can pull out of here. So we'll get one of those autographs. I'm not sure if you can tell from the side. So there's a Trevor Story, Ronald Cunha Jr. There's Jonathan India, Chaz Chisholm Jr., and the Vladdy Guerrero. So not uh, nothing big in there either. So I just wish we'll go ahead and stick with those 286 cards, the top two cards out of there. Not a, yeah, not much in there at all. Let's go ahead and go open up the Grand Slam Card Co. box. Been getting this for a while now. I've tried different levels. This $40 level seems to be the best level for me. It seems like the upper levels... Just don't ever seem to work out right. So we're supposed to get, uh, is it 12 to 15 packs or is it just 15 packs? I can't remember now. That's a nice pack there, the 2019 update. That's a hobby pack too. 2017 update, also a hobby pack. So definitely some nice packs in here. So you're going to get the usual, some Heritage 2022. Some update from last year, 2022 opening day. Maybe find one of those uh, Lucky the Irish cards. I really want to get one of those. Oh, there's our guaranteed hit reserve of the 2017 update. And there's a Heritage High number. Big League. There's that update pack. Looks thick, but I just be having a lot of cards in there. Series 2 and 2020 update. So hopefully we can find a short print. Let's start with this 2020 update. Does like some nice names you can get in there. I love the vet short prints. Starting with a Zach Grinky Sky Bolt. Wish he would have been better. Love that guy's name. There's some good, great names in there. Devin Williams, rookie card. Aristides Aquino, rookie debut. David Ortiz, 
McDinney, Rainbow Foil, Scarbarla, Mark McGuire. Not much in that one. Not pulling much fire today. 2021 Top Series 2. Framil Reyes, Johnson Falar. There's a Tyler Glass now. Greg Holland, another Rainbow Foil. Brian Reynolds. There's a nice one. Christian Yelich, 70 years of tops. Don't think I have that one. It does not look familiar. That's good for the set. Jeff McNeil. I might have. I still need to go through those cards. 2019 update. Maybe our best rookie chance pool. These were all hobby packs. Jason Martin. Zach Plezak rookie card. Tommy Listella. Carlos Santana. There's a nice 84 design. Andrew McCutcheon. Corbin Martin. Michael Brantley. Chris Bryant. All-Star Game card. Another Kevin Pillar. And a Carlos Santana. 2021 <laughs> Big League. So I just, this seems like my packs have not been very big. Haven't been uh, doing well at these. There's a nice Mick, Mick Madrigal rookie card. Mookie Betts. And another Christian Yelich. Orange parallel. Moving on to the 2020 Heritage High number. Pretty much Luis Robert or Bust. David Price. Danny Duffy. Marcelo Zuna. Frankie Montas. And Todd Frazier. This looks like Marcelo Zuna is in action. This is like the third one of these I've pulled. I have three Marcelo Zuno action variations. I wonder if they messed up and then all the Marcelo Zunas are action variations. Because <laughs> I, I have three of these and I've pulled all three of them out of packs. I don't know what the, there's no, ch yeah, they must have messed up because that those odds just seem totally astronomical. Moving on, the 2022 Heritage. Let me know in the comments below but if you've found that. I don't, I don't even know if I've seen the Marcelo Zuno base card. Andrew Benatendi, Ahmad Rosario, Yu Chang. Oh, looks like we got this a hot, hot box pack. Jackson Coar, Taylor Trammell. Nice. A Trey Turner as well. That's a sweet looking card. I like that one. Here it is coming through apparently. Hey, Sue Sanchez and a Sean Manea. Moving on to the 2021 update. Do like all the different variety they put in here. Spencer Turnbull, no hitter. Uh, Chris Rodriguez, rookie card. A little tops flip action. Zach Wheeler, Rick Honeycutt, and the '86 design rookie card. Rick Honeycutt, Brent Honeywell Jr. I'm not even sure where I was thinking there. It's pretty cool. Like I said, I love the '86 design. This is a nice Jake Cronenworth Gold Cup. Miles Straw, moving on to 2022 opening day. Love to see one of those little luck of the Irish cards. Where are they? Inserts one in 698. I inserts parallels. There's a Gavin Sheets, JP DeGrom, Leon Hendricks. There's a Rosie Red, Alex Verdugo, Casey Mize, and a Trey Turner. And our last pack, let's see what our guaranteed are. Chris Sale, numbered out of uh, 199. Not too bad. 2017 update. Hobby pack. Only 10 cars in here. Ronaldo Lopez rookie card. Juan Moncada rookie card. Oh, we got the hit. It's not too bad. Rookie card. Our hit is Yonder Alonso. Event worn. All-star game. Oh, that's a sweet looking card. Not numbered, but I like the patch. History Makers, the North Side's one-two punch. Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant. That's a cool card if you're a Cubs fan. Daniel DeClasco. Descalso. Charlie Blackman, All-Star Game card. And a Zach Cozart. Weird, some of those guys who make the All-Star Game once. You never hear about them again. Leave those out. And here we go, the one I'm really curious about, the Etsy box. I have no idea. I can't remember what the description was. I guess I should have looked that up before I came on here, but I did not. I just remember I, what I did is, I, like I said, I typed into Google, $40 mystery box. Oops, it's going to be like this. 
And this came up. I knew it was a risk. I figured, ah, oh, what the heck, I'll try it out, see what it is. See, I'm just, it's kind of fun to review something, see something new, see what it is. Oh, there you go. Like I said, I didn't get the... I'm so sorry for being late. Thanks so much. So, let's see what we got. A stack of packs. This looks like it's retail. That could end up being good. They're 2021 Series 1. Like I said, this was $40. 2005. Nice. Updates and highlights. I don't know if there's any uh, Gold Cup cards being found in there, but hopefully we can. 2006 Bowman. Allen and Ginter 2021. Cooperstown. What was that 2013? What was that Cooperstown year? 2012. And a fat pack of 20, is that 2015 or 2016? 2016 Donruss. Some different things in there. So uh, let's start off with this Cooperstown pack. So this was, like I said, $40. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you figure with shipping, maybe $6 a pack, what you're looking at. Bit of old Malzorowski. That's a cool looking shot. They should make the umpires dress up like that again. Jimmy Fox, that's a cool card. I don't know why he's got a little color to him for. Harmon Killebrew. Hall of Fame win a trip. Nothing in there. Let's go on to this 2016 Fat Pack of Exclusive of the Rookies. Test proofs. Number to 49 or less. Maybe we might find a nice Trey Turner or Trevor Story. Actually, I don't know if Story is in here. Jose Abreu, Yadier Molina, there's a Miguel Cabrera, and a Joey Votto. Oh, a lot of people's favorites in there. Billy Burns, Shock Peterson, Charlie Blackman, Ian Kinsler, Michael Taylor. He has Monty Thomas, Juan Carlos Stanton, Greg Biggio. That's a cool little card. There's a nice George Brett. Out of focus. Look at, my, look at that. Uh, look at his face there. Not a very good shot. There's an Aaron Nola rated rookie. Zach Grinke. Kyle Schwarber rookie card. Prospects Julio Arias. There we go. Rookie's Corey Seager. That was the one I was thinking of. What's this? Masters of the Game Frank Thomas. That's a cool card. And a Sunny Gray. It's not too bad. We'll put that Corey Seager up there. I'm going to keep these guys out just in case we need them. For our second card. Moving on to the 20... 21, oh, that is actually a hobby pack of Allen and Ginter. <laughs> Some pretty good hit odds out of a hobby pack. There's three hits per box. Ron Santo. There's Eddie Matthews. Another Julio Arias. Oh, nice. World's largest Mount Everest. And a Murad of Randy Johnson. It's not much in there. It looks like the Julio Arias was a high number short print. 2006 Bowman, home of the rookie card. I'm not really sure who we're looking for in here. Is that a hobby pack? $2.99. Oh, it's a retail pack. Let's see what we can find. Lyle Overlay. Luis Gonzalez. Over Bay. Lance Berkman. Kerry Wood. Justin Verlander. Hideki Matsui, on our chromes. First Bowman Chrome of Brad McCann. First Bowman Chrome of Jose Diaz. First Bowman of Michael Aubre. And our last first Bowman is Felipe Valiquet. So not much in there. Moving on to 2005 Tops Baseball. Updates and highlights. Ten cards. Packs of other cards. Contains eight cards. This looks like a retail pack as well. Hopefully we can find a nice gold cup for the gold cup collection. I don't think I have any of the 2005 gold cups yet. Hawkins, Rotino, Vinny Castilla, Santran, Lara LaRoche. 2005 Futures Games All-Star. Future Game All-Star, Andy LaRoche. Number that, 2005, so it's the gold card. Next we got to put that down there. Only number card we hit out of there so far. Vigio breaks career hit by pitch record. Brian Roberts. And in the doghouse. So last pack. Last chance to get something good. 2021 Series 1 retail pack.
Josh Reddick. There's an Andre Simmons his rookie card. And Nick Madrigal right behind it. Byron Buxton. There's a Buster Posey. Nate Pearson. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's a 86 design Albert Pujols. And the 52 root Redus. And there you go. So, overall, I'd have to say that Etsy pack box wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. You <laughs> never didn't know what to expect, so it was cool to open. But uh, I'd have to give the win to the Grand Sam Card Club box once again. I mean, just nothing coming out of the other boxes. Like I said, let me know if, if anybody else, that Marcel Zuno, I, I, that is like the third one of those action variation images I've pulled. I mean, I, it seems like the only ones I can pull is the action image variation. So let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought of the winner. Let me know what you thought of the SE box. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll catch you next time.